she came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. We fall hard enough, we tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer. The famous private investigator, hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. A famous private invest...
In Madame Carlyle's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carla.
scary, Scarlet said. As she's never seen a dead body before. Poor thing. Alexa, back from the dead. A make-believe funeral. A murder mystery. Oh, all too much. This is a vacation when this is over. Madam Carlyle wants a picture taken. If you were to assist with the missing fuse, I'm sure the poor... Uh, she expects the family photo to be done any moment now. I need this shoot to happen, okay? And I need it to be perfect. Can't, can't we just take a fuse from another fuse box? Uh, I, I guess we could do that. Good. Look, I'll finish setting up, and then we'll grab the fuse just before you call down the family. Good. Yeah. That's a good plan. Sounds like the power's back up. Why don't you take a picture to test it? I wonder if he does it works. headshots. I'm ready for the shoot. Perfect. I'll call the family down now then. Excellent, 47. Madam Carlyle is on her way down for the family photo shoot. Let's see if any memorable moments will play out in front of the camera. Right ahead, please. I expect you to be efficient. I have a lot to see to today. I'll do my best. That is Alexa Carlyle, unofficial leader of the Providence Partners, and last one to be Listen, alive. Listen, everyone. I understand that you have a lot of questions. Please be patient for a little longer. I will address you in the sitting room afterwards. Right, get in position. Let's get this over with. There's a puddle of water here. Oh, never mind. Let's just get this done, shall we? Chin up, Edward. No one wants to look at that long face. You're such an idiot, Gregory. I'm fine, Rebecca. Fine? You look like a nose wreck. Stop! <laughs> Mission complete. 
Well done, 47. No way. Oh, no. Oh, you are messed up. Tell you what, I'm gonna go get help. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to. On top of everything, Rosie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking heart happening, if I ever saw one. I heard Mary fainted when she heard Madame Carlyle was still alive. And she didn't even see it herself. It was Bernie's who told her. I can believe that. What a surprise. Seven. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! Shit! 